Hello everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now, um, today I am going to decorate something that I found on B&M today. Um, now, we, we didn't go in for these at all, but they were on offer and I kind of toyed with the idea whether to pick them up or not. Um, and I was like, shall I, shan't I? And I sort of said to my mum, no, I think I will because I'll kick myself. And I wanted to get them so you guys could um, could see them and also pick them up if you wanted um, something like it. Now, they're in the sale. They were 4 99 and they are candle stick or well, candle stands candle holders um now i wouldn't have this design in my house but you know me and you know that we're not going to leave it like that so they are really tall let me just scoot the camera up a bit so you can see look i've moved my desk around a little bit so they're really really tall um and they were two pound 49 so i want to get this video on as quick as possible so if you want some you can pop in and get them so they're just half price at the moment so anyway, I picked up two, um, thinking, right, let's jazz these up. Let's show more what we can do with these. And if you want to have a bash yourself, then you can pop in and um, pop in and get some. So without further ado, I'll let you know what I'm going to do to start with. So I'm going to use this um, American uh, American Decor chalky finish. And we're going in a slightly different grey to before. And um, this one is... Um, same sort of thing but it's a slightly different cream so can you see the difference in the colors there there's not a huge difference but there is one okay so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to start by putting this all over um the bottom um so i'm just going to start and do that now right so these are going to dry overnight so it's um as it's friday night now um so i'll just let these dry and i'll do some of these i'll finish these off tomorrow on saturday and i'll try and get this video up on saturday evening for you um so if you can pop in then you can nip in and see if you can pick some of these up so that's why i wanted to kind of jump it to the queue really but i don't like the brown at all and I think that's what put me off picking them up. But I kind of, when you're out and about and you're looking at things, you just have to look beyond what it looks like. Okay. You know, like when you go and look for a new house and you, it's just really not um, decoration that you like and they've got furniture that you wouldn't like. You just have to look beyond that. And if there's a wall, you know, you could knock out or, you know, you just got to look. And that's what you need to do when you want to alter things. Like when you go into shops like Poundland or anything like that, um, this is what I do, and this is where we get a lot of our ideas from. Just don't look at what they say it's for. Think, do you know, what could we do? Or, you know, what would Becky do? What would Becky make that into? And it's fab that so many of you are... I'll do that top bit in a minute. It's fab that so many of you are now crafting that didn't before. So us shoppers are also dabbling in a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of sticking and gluing, a little bit of painting. So that's dead fab. Don't worry about all this stuff down here. This is um, stuff that we don't worry about. We hide that. So I shall sort that out. It's just like baskets and um, I think my sandpapers fell down there. You can see in that box. And that's like my rolls of organza and stuff. And there's some paint. And that, in fact, there, that grey thing is my old shop till. But it's not old. But... Um, it was quite expensive at the time, so we'll keep hold of that. Kids can have a little bib on that if they want to. So we'll just paint that around. So um, I did think about doing these in a different colour because I've got loads of different paints and I know I kind of stick a lot to grey and I am going to try and come out of my comfort zone quite a bit. I am going to try to do different colours because not everybody likes what I like and I have to remember that. Um, and that was the thing about the shop. You can't just get things that you like in, even though I do obviously like my own taste. And I think I've got quite good taste. I have to remember that people do like different colours and it's not just about what I like. So um, I did wonder maybe I should do this in something else, but I decided not to. I decided to do it exactly how I wanted it. So, um, but there is another project that's coming up that I'm going to start painting tonight just so I can get it dried and um that is going to be oh no that's in a color i like as well what was the thing i was going to do that i 
it wouldn't have normally picked. I can't remember now. Anyway, there are other things and other colours coming up. So, but don't, you don't have to do things the same colour that I do them. Don't forget, you know, you can do them any way that you want. I also just want to say hi to Pauline. Um, Pauline sends me some lovely emails and um, keeps me up to date with them. Um, with what she's doing so hi Pauline it's great she's so crafty she, and I mean that in a very nice way not in a crafty crafty way in a crafty how we craft way so I think I'm just rambling on I think I'm that tired you know when you go past <laughs> you go past making any sense okay so I'll just paint the top section in a minute so I'm going to leave those to dry and the next time you see me will be tomorrow, Saturday, at some point, and we will do the um, next coat. It might be in the morning, we'll do the next coat, and then we'll do the um, the other part later on so I can get it all uploaded and ready. So that's it for now. Um, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so it's the next day, and um, these are completely dry. So what I'm going to do now, there are some gaps. Um, if I can find some, I did notice some earlier. Um, if you can see down there. But... It doesn't matter because this is like the under colour, so that won't matter at all. Um, I'm just giving this um, little pot a shake. Now, this isn't too much different. Um, it's sort of along the same kind of colour theme and scheme, I suppose. Um, but what I'm going to do now is just give these um, a layer of paint with this cream, okay, over the top. And we'll be kind of making this the shabby chic look again and this will be the um the top color so this will be the color that it finishes off um obviously you can ch chop and change how you want to um you know color things and and what what colors you want as your base color or your top color you don't have to do a base color you can just go straight in and you know just do it one color but because i want to sort of sand it in set sort of sections and different areas um, that's why I'm doing the separate colour underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to paint these now. It's Saturday afternoon and um, I'll leave those to dry because I'm filming a few videos down here. Maybe me and Phoebe are down here. She's got some slime. You're going to say hello, Phoebs? Hello. So we're just down the craft room. Of slime. You have got loads of slimes, haven't you? She's just having a play with those while I while I do this. My dad's gone to watch the football, so it's nice and peaceful down here. So um, I'll just crack on and paint those and I'll be back with you when they're both dry. Okay, now these are about dry, I would say. It's 20 past six. Um, we've just popped into Morrison's um, just to get a couple of bits for tea. Um, look, I've got my glass of wine ready there. So I'll pop down now just so I can get these done. So um, after tea, we can have, um, I can just sit with the, with the family. So what I'm going to do is put some of this lace around these um, candlesticks. Um, so I'm going to have a little look through, see what I've got, um, and just sort of like, you know, hold a little bit up and just sort of see what, you know, what would go nice around there. Um, so I'm just going to start and do that now. What else was I going to tell you? I can't remember now. Right, let me just have a little rummage and I'll be back with you. Right, so I've found the bits that I need. I've rummaged through this little bead um, stash as well. Um, got a little bit of lace. Um, I did remember the thing I was going to tell you, actually. I have um, just been into Morrison's and found some of the paper clips. Now, they were a pound um, for six today, and I have picked up an extra packet because at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a, a giveaway. This is an extra secret giveaway. So if you've watched to, to this point, then keep watching for those details. Okay, so what we're going to do now is get some sandpaper and we're just going to rough the edges a little bit. Now, I could really or should have left this a little bit longer, um, but impatient me and wanting to get things sorted is not going to do that. So I'm just going to very, very lightly just rub over it, if you can see there, with the sandpaper. And what we're doing is we're just taking off a little bit of the top and we're exposing a bit of the wood colour and also the paint that we did underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to go around that now and um, just sort of distress it a little bit. And then 
I'll come back to you and just show you how I got on. Right, here we go. So um, I've just moved the table round because I was feeling a little bit cold. So um, I've turned it so I'm near the fire a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now what we're going to do um, is decorate them. Now, a good time would be to put a layer of Mod Podge over now or spray them with some varnish. Um, but I'm going to do that afterwards and sort of hide the, the lace, be just purely for time-wise, because if I pop some varnish on now, I'm going to have to go up to the house for a little while, then I'm going to have to come back down. So um, I'm going to do it another way around, just so I can show you tonight, because I want to get this video on tonight. So what I'm going to do is to measure around um, the beads that I'm going to put on the bottom. Okay, so the first thing I'm using is this. It's just a double row of beads. And I'm going to pop that around the bottom here, if you can see. So I'll just get my old glue gun. Pop a little bit of glue on there. Hopefully you can see it still. And just match that up like that. So of course you can do these in any colours you want. They'd look pretty cool in black as well. So just pop that on there. Okay, so that's that around the bottom there. And I'm also going to use this lace. I love this lace. It's one of my favouritists ever and ever. There we go. Look how nice that is. So I'm going to put that around the top. Now I was toying with the idea where to put it. It's sort of that part there um, or kind of that bit. And I was just trying to work out what I thought looked the best. Um, I might, I wasn't going to put it there, but I might put it there. And I have got this lace, which I also thought looked quite pretty. That was in that um, in that set, so I might put that. It might be too much, but I'm going to go for it anyway. So let's just shove this on here. I'll just roughly measure to start with. So yeah, we went into Morrison's and we were so indecisive about what to have for tea. I think we kind of stood in the same aisle for around about half an hour because we were all like, mm, what do you think? And oh, but what do you think we should have? <laughs> we really took us ages. I wasn't indecisive about the chocolate aisle though, I have to say. We knew what we wanted down that one. I bought some more of that dairy-free chocolate spread that I like. That went straight in. Okay, so I'll just trim this. Hopefully I'm doing this in shot so you can see. Neaten that up a bit. I feel like I'm rushing a little bit, but I'll try not to. Okay, so that could be the back bit now. Okay, so that's that. And I think I'm going to add that around the top. Now I have um, decorated candles before and that was something I was going to check in Morrison's to see if they had but I completely forgot. Um, just check that's the back bit. Um, I've de yeah, I've decorated candles before with um, napkins and if you had the white pillar, nap uh, pillar napkins, the white pillar candles, um, then they would look really cool decorated on the top and I will show you how to do that another day and I did have some candles somewhere I think I bought them from Ikea um, some just some white ones and I thought they'd look ace on the top of this um, if I can find them then I will do the video ASAP but um, there we go Right, so there we have that part there. So it's quite simple. Look, you know, I'm just going to get this. Oh, I'm knocking this. I'm just going to get this candle from at the top here. Um, it's too small, but I'll just show you what I mean. Um, so this is a candle that I've decorated before. So this was just a normal, like you know, church type candle, and this is actually a napkin over the top. I painted it. Well, painted it, decorated it some time ago now, and I just put some lace down the bottom. So if I just, I know it's too small. But if I just put it on, I'll just show you what I mean. So you can get yourself a nice thick candle. You'll need one probably a bit bigger than that. Um, so it covers that part. 
but that would look really pretty wouldn't it on the top so but I will show you how to decorate those another day but I just wanted to let's pull that off I just wanted to show you um, while we were here so right let's just do this other one got a couple of things I want to do while I'm down here so I'm just going to decorate this other one now so I'll do it in exactly the same way and I'll be back and there we go guys they are all finished so they started life as um, just a brown pair of candlesticks and they've had a nice vintage shabby chic look so um, I hope you give it a go yourself so thank you so much for watching I've just got one more project I'm going to do tonight um, but coming up next we've got details of the giveaway okay so i'm back at the house now and i just want to show you the prizes for um the secret giveaway so we've got three of the deco papers now i know these are quite tricky for some of you to get hold of so this is why um, i'm doing this little extra one for you uh, so we've got the seahorses we've got the unicorns and the rainbows and clouds now these um, have got three sheets in each um, I also when I went to Morrison's picked up some extra paper clips so there's a set of six of the oversized paper clips and I'm also adding two of these flowers as well in case you wanted to do um, some flower paper clips okay so that is the um, the the giveaway that we're doing the secret giveaway and all you have to do to enter this one, as I'm just cooking tea, is just tell me what your favourite food is. It's as simple as that. Um, I'll do the draw in just um, a couple of days so I can get that out to you. Um, so good luck, guys. And we'll do the random um, number generator to pick the winner as well. But it's UK only, so please make sure you're um, in the UK, United Kingdom only. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.